Hi guys, I'm back, almost in time this time. I haven't waited forever to film. I'm sorry if I keep looking in the wrong spot. I'm filming with my iPad and I always find it awkward. I, my phone, I like it better, but I can't use it today for whatever reason. So anyway, and also excuse for my crazy air. They grow too long, I have to cut it. It's a mess. It's like curly air, it goes all over the place. Anyway, you're not here to listen to my complaint about my hair, so here goes my update. I have a fair amount of things to talk about uh, today. Um, I haven't stitched uh, a huge amount, but I think I got still got some progress. Uh, it has been a so-so month uh, with um, migraines, uh, and I have done a little bit of traveling, like uh, on weekends, uh, short, you know, a couple of days. Uh, but it has, mm, you know, still an influence on the amount of stitching I get done as. Uh, most of the time I stitch uh, in the weekend for a longer time and during the week uh, for a short period of time, depending you know how tired I am. Anyway, um, I had a new start. It was, uh, it's something that doesn't happen very often to me. I had a spontaneous start. I saw something coming up and uh, I really like it. And it's, it was really small and I said, why not? So, um, I uh, joined a Stitch Along hosted by Tempting Tangles uh, and it's called the Welcome Sal. It's going to be 16 part and the first two are already out. The, actually, the first three, I haven't yet uh, stitched the, the third one, it just came out. And this is where I am. So those are the first two parts. It's um, a fairly a small um, Piece. Uh, the entire design is going to be 124 square stitches and um, so it stitched up really quickly and I think it's super cute. I'm using uh, a piece of fabric I found in my stash. I can't remember absolutely what it is. I have a suspect it's a 20, I know it's a 24 count because I counted it but I think it's like um, quaker, lin quaker linen, I, I don't know, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But I don't know, uh, so, you know, sorry. But here it is. It's uh, really, really quick and uh, um, I really like it. It's cute. So it takes me like a couple of hours to whip it up. So every time it come out, so it's, you know, it's not gonna make a dent on my stitching time and still uh, we'll have some, maybe a pillow or something at the end. I don't know. Anyway, that's the first thing I worked on. The second thing I worked on this month, uh, oh sorry, was uh, um, the um, stitch along from the stitch specialist uh, uh, designed by Abby Gurney called the uh, Season Sampler. And the last time you saw it, uh, I had stitched uh, down to this band uh, where the strawberry and the bees bee house is, and uh, I stitched. Uh, uh, I think there are, those are two or three more parts. I'm sorry, I just can't remember. Uh, you know, my information are always <laughs> not so precise. Anyway, I did uh, the fuchsia flower, which I love because fuchsia are my one of my favorite flowers. And then, we, and that was the last band for um, summer. And then I stitched this part, which is the beginning of uh, autumn. And uh, the next part just came out and uh, I'm going to work on it pretty soon. So this is uh, how it looked like. Uh, this is stitched on a 32 count Murano in the colorway. I think it's Dune by Chromatic Alchemy. And uh, I think it's uh, pretty nice. So this is how far I am with this. And... Uh, Next one is uh, World Travel Bookshelf. Now I'm trying to be more organized, so if my phone cooperates, I'm going to show you how this is going to look like when it's done. And uh, I have stitched uh, the complete first uh, 
bookshelf and I'm now on the second bookshelf and last time you saw it I was about here so since then I think I finished uh, I did all this from the Eiffel Tower on up to here and um, that's it didn't work too much on it because uh, you know I had a bunch of other stuff I've been working on but I'm, I'm not worried about it you know it's gonna take years it's just Little progress, still progress. And uh, the last uh, cross stitch thing I worked on was my Prairie Schooler alphabet. And uh, last time you saw it, I was uh, just started on the letter D. I had like this square here done. And uh, I have started working on it last week. Uh, I done a little bit and I'm going to keep going on it for a while. Um, I have had uh, like mixed uh, feelings about this piece. Uh, um, I had a lot. Um, okay, I had a, a hard time getting uh, not getting bored with it because uh, you know I I saw I, I said that a few times. I'm a confetti junkie. I really like uh, the variety, either variety of color or even variety of stitches in the, in the case of my specialty stitches uh, piece uh, but uh, this piece I love it uh, and I'm gonna keep going on it but uh, sometimes I just stitch a little bit on it and then I get bored and I have to switch so but right now I mean uh, it's he's in a good place and I'm going to keep working on it and uh, finish try to finish uh, the letter D I started it um, I had a thought, a crazy thought, of switching the way I stitch on this. This is stitched one over one on a 28 count even weave. I suspect it is um, Monaco, but it's a piece I, I got in a swap, so I, it, it wasn't labeled, so I don't know for sure. And. Uh, I had a crazy thought of uh, switching my uh, style of stitching uh, from full cross one over one to ten stitch two over one because uh, I know that I, I love that style it's what I use for my world travel and uh, I know it would go faster and I tried but I didn't like it uh, it I think ten stitch work really well when you're working on a full coverage but uh, those parts here the the tenth stitcher was really I, I I don't know I I didn't like it so anyway that's where I am at it's my one of my favorite needle minder it's a hummingbird and it's by Marika at the Crafty Bits Creation and it's a hand stitched on top of a, a fabric she dyed herself and it's really cute but that's another story <laughs> so that's this one and uh, uh, the last thing I worked on is uh, uh, the reason why I haven't stitched as much as I usually do and it's uh, because uh, I have been working on my new my renewed loved uh, which is uh, crochet <laughs> and uh, this is uh, the peacock tail crochet bag designed by Lil, uh, I hope I don't butcher her name it's Lila Bjorn uh, crochet word it's a free pattern and uh, I'm almost finished with uh, I think I, I need to uh, still need to do like a couple of round on the front and uh, it stays, I think four or five round on the back I have to wave in a million tail and then I have to do the joining and the lining and um, if you're interested I'm going to link down below uh, all the information but uh, this is uh, uh, what it's gonna look like and uh, I still have to order the uh, chain or the, even decide how I'm gonna finish uh, what kind of um, strap I'm gonna put on it but I really think it's gorgeous and uh, you know 
um, I said it before, but uh, I haven't touched a crochet hook in the last uh, 15 years at least, and I never ever done overlay crochet. And this thing is just amazing. It's uh, and her instruction um, together with the video tutorial, uh, which is on YouTube and it's in the channel call. It's all in a nutshell. I'm, I will try to remember to link that down below too. The uh, the video is what is saving me because uh, um, I know how to crochet, but uh, I don't know how to read the English uh, instruction. I learn in Italian, so the direction are you know the name of the stitches are different and all that. It's different. And um, uh, the video tutorial is what is saving me because uh, I just, uh, you know, watch a little bit, stop it, do what she said, watch a little bit more, do the rest. And when I have uh, uh, done uh, the repeat once, then I can keep going and finish the round. So I'm really happy. I like the color I picked uh, and I like uh, the way it's uh, turning out. Uh, I can hardly believe I made it, let's face it. So I worked uh, a lot on this and um, uh, I didn't have much uh, other time. So that's uh, all I got done this month. And um, uh, I'm gonna have uh, a, I have a couple of things uh, I'm gonna say about what's coming next. And the uh, first thing is uh, I'm traveling uh, next uh, weekend uh, to um, UK and uh, I'm going to be uh, visiting uh, my friend uh, uh, Carrie. And uh, um, she is a cross teacher, a floss tuber, and she had a vlog and uh, I'm sure you know her for all her cats and her dog and the beautiful stitching she does. I'm going to link her channel down below if I remember. And uh, I'm gonna stay with her for a couple of days and I'm also going to see a few more of my UK stitchy friend and that's gonna be really fun. And um, so I have been uh, thinking of what I'm carrying and what I'm taking there to stitch and uh, I know I said before and um, that I was gonna start my uh, winter water garden shuttling together with Carrie, but unfortunately I had to rethink that plan because I didn't thought and um, before, and I should have, that my uh, husband is severely allergic to cat and uh, he, get, uh, uh, he can get asthma and be very sick. So uh, my chatelaine is on a hand dyed fabric and uh, it's gonna be all the silks and stuff and there is no way I'm going to be able to wash it when I take it back and uh, I'm really um, afraid that, that uh, uh, you know the, the cat fur will be too much and I don't want my husband to be sneezing and getting sick every time I pull out that project it won't really put that project in a good place for me so what I decided to do is uh, to um, I look uh, I have a good uh, amount uh, of uh, uh, chatelaine uh, uh, freebies uh, um, from her previous uh, uh, website uh, some of them now has been pulled off uh, as the freebies and they are for sale for uh, I think a very fair price and uh, so the one I decided to stitch uh, is called uh, uh, Karen Dragonfly and this is how it's gonna look like. And uh, I have uh, converted the, the required fab, uh, thread for all DMC and uh, I picked some of the variegated uh, and silks that I own and I'm gonna use those uh, to replace uh, uh, the cold for. And uh, it's gonna be stitched uh, in this uh, piece of 28 count uh, um, linen which is uh, like in a mottled blue it's uh, it's not coming out right through to life uh, my yellow wall always mess up with it 
but anyway this uh, this is the plan and um, this is one of the pieces I'm going to take so next time we will see how far I go I have a suspect it, it uh, my trip uh, will involve more chatting than stitching and eating and you know just being together uh, but you never know I might be able to get a chunk done and uh, in case uh, that won't be done I have another small that I'm, I want to uh, work on and uh, it is sorry I'm looking down I'm trying to get my phone to show the right thing that I need um, the uh, okay uh, my friend recipe uh, recently started a group uh, because she found a very cute uh, project and she thought it would be a nice idea if uh, some of her you know close stitchy friend would uh, stitch it all together and uh, so she created a, a sound for it uh, so I'm going to participate to the TPSSB sal, which stands for Tracy P. Sister Stitcher Birthday Sal. And uh, what we're going to stitch uh, together is uh, a very small uh, pattern by uh, the primitive hair, 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 hair. I don't know, sorry, I'm bad. Today it's a mess, I, I, I can't use my English at all. Anyway, it, the pattern is called Sister Stitcher. It's a freebie, and that's how it's gonna look like. And uh, I'm gonna stitch it uh, on the same uh, fabric I have uh, been stitching the Tempting Tango Sal, and uh, I have uh, just the amount, the right amount. So it's this uh, 24 count row looking linen of unknown nature <laughs> and uh, I picked some colors and some metallic and some fun things that I think I'm going to use but I'm not sure so I'm just bringing everything I think I want to play with and uh, we'll see what I come up with and um, some of us and uh, me included in the group uh, are going to send her the product of our hard work so she can have it and she can do something with it and just put it together. I think it's just very nice and I'm happy to be participating. And, and by the way, the group is hilarious. It's one of the funniest uh, uh, Facebook group I am in at the moment, apart from my uh, chatting group, uh, which is, you know, my is a constant. And um, speaking of groups, uh, I have also joined uh, Stephanie in her new um, challenge, which is called uh, Stitch from Stash 2017A. I hope to remember to link that group down below too. And uh, um, the purpose of the group is very well explained by her in the group it, itself and in one of her video. I will just uh, say that uh, what we can do is pretty much we set a monthly budget for our stitchy spending and uh, also um, we uh, will uh, um, work on our project and we can uh, cash in a way uh, some extra budget if we finish uh, um, something we're stitching like it could be like uh, we can set an amount for a finished page in a full coverage or for a finish finish small project or for a finish you know big project uh, you can talk to the group and figure out how much that uh, work toward your uh, budget so you can have the possibility to buy a little bit more but really if you're interested it's i think it's a very good way to um, have an accountability body to uh, you know keep your spending on track and i'm usually not a easier easy person to have uh, um, crazy buy or like instinct buy or uh, to buy stuff just because i see them i usually my uh, everything i have I usually sit in my wish list forever and then once in a while I just have a big splurge and purchase what I really like 
and um, but you know uh, still it all adds up and it's nice to have a way to keep track of how much uh, I spent and to be have people supporting and also I really happy to be able to give a, a support to the persons that that has uh, more problem keeping uh, uh, staying on a budget and being uh, accountable with their uh, stitched purchases is really easy right now to go all crazy and uh, um, you know spend a lot of money there are so many uh, things that are available needle miner project bags frames stands you know crystals silks fabric hand dye there's pattern there are so many so it's it's a nice i think it's a good way to uh, be more rational about our stitching and our um, uh, stash spending. Nothing wrong with the buying a lot of stash if you can afford it, but um, to me, it's uh, I don't like to do that. Uh, I like to have more like a controlled, uh, um, you know, amount of stuff. And um, anyway, that's what I think and. Uh, if you like the idea, you will find information to join the group. And uh, I think that's uh, all I have to say for today. Oh, by the way, my I, <laughs> it's, um, I think uh, I should ask uh, a percentage on the people that sell the portable light I showed on the previous video because I think at least I don't know I lost count, but more than 20 people went and bought it after I showed it so <laughs> I, I think I should uh, look for them anyway I'm glad that you all guys liked it uh, uh, it's a very nice lamp and um, it's a uh, it's nice to be able to su suggest the stuff that I find uh, useful and I, I take a lot of recommendation and I see a lot of uh, great things in your videos uh, so uh, it's my way to give back uh, and, um, you know, everybody know I'm the world biggest enabler, so what can I say? <laughs> anyway, I'm glad to see you again and thanks everybody for the likes, the subscribes and the comment. I really love them. I have been a little bit better answering and um, I apologize if I forgot anyone and um, uh, see you next time. Bye. I forgot something. One of the people who comment, uh, she is called Rosina Giulia, asked me a question about the Omanic factory and uh, I tried to answer to her comment, but unfortunately, I think because of the her privacy setting on her YouTube account, I couldn't uh, write. So I'm going to answer here. I hope she will watch this video. So, um, she asked if uh, uh, the Omanic factory ship from Estonia to the USA and uh, uh, and they do they definitely do and I encourage you to write an email to Anton if you haven't done yet because you know it has been over a month since your comment and he will be able to help you through the process and he will explain everything and um, I try to remember and put the link down below together with all the other things that I will probably forget. So that's all this time and I'm really going to go. Bye.